my name is Deborah Bruce. I'm standing in my office in front of uh, a series of posters that are extracted from the book Anatomy Trains by Thomas Meyer. PFR stands for Passive Fascia Restoration Massage. And uh, I have created PFR over the period of about 25 years and it came out of my background as industrial design and out of my own experience of having fibromyalgia and having a lot of massage done. I've been a massage therapist for 35 years and uh, I wanted to find another way to uh, uh, experience and give massage. I'm standing in front of these posters that are uh, extracts from the book Anatomy Trains by Thomas Myers. And these posters show some of the new advances in dissection of fascia, which is uh, very important because fascia has always been discarded by the dissectionists to get to the muscles and the bone. And now we're finding that fascia is the wrapper that uh, coats it creates a tunic and a sheath over every muscle and every nerve and every fiber in the body and creates a connective tissue mesh that uh, coordinates and connects all the and gives the form of the whole body. I think PFR is really a significant advance because most bodywork methods attempt to overpower the muscles and overpower the fascia and uh, fascia is a different kind of tissue. It's very light and filmy and it coats and produces a sheath, a covering, a little tunic around every fiber of the body, every muscle fiber, every nerve fiber, every blood vessel and all those sheaths are connected with interstitial uh, material that creates an unbroken net, a mesh that uh, creates the form of the body. So the fascia is very underrated and uh, just lately in the last few years it, the dissectionists have st been starting to dissect for fascia specifically instead of just discarding it in order to get to the muscles and the bones. And what we're finding is that fascia is way more important than anybody ever uh, knew Current studies uh, are showing that in uh, mouse uh, tissue, that proprioception actually begins in the fascia, which is a very significant uh, little uh, bit of information because that tells us that the uh, movement of the body and the coordination of the body actually is dependent and begins in the fascia. Now, these drawings behind me are made by Thomas Myers who has done some dissection of fascia and they show the broader sweeps of the uh, enclosing sheaths of the fascia and how they uh, coordinate the whole body and a good example is this picture here which shows the fascia lines that run all the way from the bottom of the foot up the back of the legs, up the back and wraps around the back of the head. So that means that we can work on the top of the head and relax the fascia in the back, the lower back, all the way down to the feet. So if we work both ends of this long sheath of fascia we can have an effect on the whole body. So that's just one example of Tom Meyer's work and uh, it's very useful reference point and uh, very valuable. So PFR is really different because it uses the actual movement of the body itself instead of trying to overpower the tissue with force we use a very light force and then we use the movement of the body itself and you'll see in the following video that um, we work every little specific point on every little joint and in essence what we're trying to do is give a guided tour of the body and this is valuable to the client and to the person experiencing it because it gives them 
a, a sensation of inhabiting their body that is more uh, pronounced. It's uh, more of a profound experience of being informed by the physical body and being in the physical body. They have more sense of where they are in space and more sense of themselves. And uh, we use PFR as a much more gentle approach to change the fascia and we actually reset and restructure the body and remodel the body with PFR uh, as opposed to overpowering and trying to force the body into a new position. This picture shows the lengths of fascia that go from the fingertips all the way up to the occipital ridge and this fascial sheath will cover all the muscles in the upper back and the shoulders and uh, we can release all of those specific anatomical features by working the fascia coverings.